and and that was a question that I wanted to ask you, right? You can look at um I don't know if you're into NASCAR, but these guys are driving 200 miles an hour. Um but eventually they got to get off the racetrack and they got to drive speed limit. Um you know, you you have martial artists who are some of the deadliest men with their bare hands. But they also you know, if, if you see them in the street, they're the most willing to, you know what? I know what I can do. I, I'll let this guy mouth off so long as he doesn't touch me. You know, I, I'm humble and, and I have a humility about myself. How, 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 did, how do you turn it off? You know, they, they're asking you, like you said, to turn this thing off. How do you do that? They threaten you with jail. And I'm not trying to do that. So, and it's just like, I know what would happen if I got into like a, a physical altercation. I know what would happen. And it wouldn't like, it wouldn't be worth it. You'd have to push me to that point, you know? Like there's not ever, there's not a time where I'm not carrying. Um, I know what would happen. So to avoid that, it's just like, hey, I've been in situations or whatnot. It'd be either I'm going to say something or do something that's going to make them walk away or, or it's just, I don't know, it'd be in someone's best interest not to, you know, pursue that. Whatever you have in mind, it ain't going to go that, that way. Whatever you had planned, it won't be that plan. I promise that, you know, knowing that. And knowing what I'm, what I can do, and what I have done, and what I'm willing to do, I'm like, you're not, you're not. Yeah, I would eat someone's face off. To 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 win a fight, you got to be able to go as far as uh, I. Yeah. If you're not willing to go that far, it's just no point. Like, why don't do it? Because I'll eat you. Fact. Yeah. You know, obviously. I haven't. I have never done that, but. Push come to shove, my life against yours. If it requires me to get a, a knife and a fork and eat you, I'll do it. You know, this is such an interesting conversation, and I knew it was going to be very heavy. Um, and it, wow, um, you know, blockbuster movie a few years ago, American Sniper. Um, Chris Kyle, the movie was about. I, I don't even know how many confirmed kills he had. But I guess where I'm going with this is he died by the gun. And you're talking about, yo, I'd eat you. Do you fear karma? Do you fear, you know, Chris Kyle did. He, I mean, he he literally died on a, a shooting range, if I can remember it correctly. Yep. It, do you feel like, yo, all that I've done, as much as I'm trying to suppress the violence, as much as I'm trying to be a good human being and fit back into society, there's karma waiting for me? Oh, yeah, I believe that. But I believe also in like forgiveness and repentance and repenting for the bad things that I've done. Like, Absolutely. I've had, a, I've had a phone call with God, like on some mushrooms. But, yeah, we talked and... It was, uh, I learned a lot, you know, and I forgave myself. I don't hold any ill will towards anybody I ever shot. And I understand like what they were doing too. They were doing what they were, what they believed that they needed to do, protect what was theirs. I don't hold anything against them. I, do I regret them? Like the sniper is saying is without warning, without remorse. I've dropped that whole without remorse part, you know? Like I'm, I genuinely, Looking back, I'm older now. I don't know. I, I don't, like, I feel bad that I, it had to go down that way. You know, I do feel that way. And my whole thing is, like, I get what they were doing, you know? I don't have any negativity towards those people or nothing. They were just doing what they were doing, you know? Um, I believe in asking for forgiveness and... You know, I believe thou shall not murder. It's not thou shall not kill, so thou shall not murder. I didn't murder anyone. 
I just feel bad that things had to go the way that they, you know, they did. Um, when it comes time for me to meet my creator, as long, I believe as long as I don't hold that with me, like the, however I felt towards those people, I'll be all right. You know? Um, yeah, just not holding any ill thoughts towards those people at all. I don't, I don't, the thought across my head every once in a while about what happened, like I'll see an image or I'll see something or something, you know, will remind me of something, but I don't like, I used to, I used to be, I used to really think about that stuff, you know, and holding that, those dead souls with you ain't good. I, I, I believe that you got to let them go because if not, they'll hold on and, and pull you. They'll get their payback. If you hold on to them, they'll get theirs in the, in, at the end too. By pulling you down mm -hmm. to a place you don't want to go. Mm-hmm.